Welcome to this video on a crash course that I offer in IGCSE Environmental Management 0680. In this video, I'll give you the specifics of my online course to help you achieve an A star in the October November CIE exam for the subject. I have a master's degree in environmental biotechnology and I've been teaching the environmental management course for the last 14 years. I'm a Google certified educator with experience in teaching biology and geography as well. Here is an outline of the expectations for this course as given in the CIE document. This subject has a multidisciplinary approach with reference to biology, earth science, geology, geography and other subjects. You will learn about earth's resources and its natural systems, see how we impact our planet and think of ways to manage these problems to make it more sustainable. You may choose to use one of these three recommended textbooks, but I personally prefer the first one shown here, published by Cambridge itself for its content layout and quality. You need to learn 9 chapters to complete the syllabus. Each one of these chapters is outlined in the syllabus in this way. For example, Unit 1.1 has these two subtopics with further guidance and examples given alongside. I will train you on how to answer questions with these command words by going through sample past paper questions. In addition to learning the vast content, you will also need to learn how to solve questions that require some basic mathematical understanding. You'll be guided in the knowledge and skills required to gather data in a scientific way by formulating aims and hypotheses, design simple experiments that use controls, use sampling techniques and design questionnaires. You will then learn how to present the gathered data in tables and different types of graphs. You should be able to identify the seven continents and oceans on a map. The ability to identify major countries will be an advantage when describing geographical distribution on a map. Finally, each chapter will give you an opportunity to learn about a case study. For example, when we study the causes, impact and management of a specific example of atmospheric pollution, say smog in Delhi, you will be able to see how topics relate to the real world. Though questions are not generally asked on case studies, you are encouraged to refer to such case studies when you answer some questions worth more marks. You will need to take two papers on two different dates. Paper 1 is Theory and Paper 2 is Management in Context. Both papers are for a total of 80 marks each with an exam duration of 1 hour 45 minutes per paper. You must answer all questions. The assessment objectives are firstly knowledge and understanding which will take a major part of a learning time. Secondly, information handling and analysis which will come with experience in solving past paper questions and lastly, investigation skills and making judgments which is more important in paper 2. There is slightly more overall weightage at 40% to assessment objective 1 for both papers. So knowing the content in and out is very important. Almost equally important is your ability to use the information given in the question paper wisely using your skills of analysis and higher thinking. As you can see, there is more emphasis on investigation skills and judgment-based questions in Paper 2. Cambridge IGCC courses are designed around 130 hours of guided learning. Topics can be learned in any order. Here is a breakup of the suggested teaching time for each chapter. From my experience, this course will require that much time to do proper justice to all topics and the skills required to get an A star. Normally, I take 2 hours per lesson, 2 lessons per week or 8 lessons per month and cover about 130 hours of teaching. Now, I am aiming to deliver the course in half time, that is 65 to 66 hours in about 3 months. I am offering you this crash course for the October November exam. The topics are going to be covered in 33 lessons of 2 hours each. This means that you will need to take 3 lessons a week for the first 2 months and then 2 lessons a week for the next month. This will give you ample time in October to revise the topics and practice some past papers. In October, I'll give you two mock exams in paper 1 and 2 to assess your learning and give you feedback with areas of improvement. For each topic, you will get practice on past paper questions, summary notes to study from and pop quiz assessments. I will use these platforms and more to deliver lessons and content right to the comforts of your home anywhere in the world. Please feel free to contact me on my WhatsApp or email. Thank you for your time and I hope to hear from you soon.